Oneida County neighbors have watched as bath salts and synthetic drug use exploded in upstate New York. Tonight, they came to a community forum in Verona looking for answers about the substances that until very recently were widely available. Is there any way to that they figured out to track the manufacturers to stop the, you know, the import of this? But the ever-changing chemical compounds that make synthetic drugs so dangerous also makes them hard to regulate. Experts believe many are manufactured in China or India and then distributed to stores across the country. One way to think about this is that it's essentially chemical Russian roulette and that you never really know when that next time that you use it may be your last time. Synthetic drugs can cause numerous health troubles, including making the user act like they have lost their mind. Neighbors at the meeting tonight said they wanted to know how to talk to their children, friends, and family about the consequences. see a lot of it coming in to the hospital, so I have to know how to take care of them. Lawmakers are trying to cut off the supply, but Verona Councilman Fritz Schurz said more knowledge and education about synthetic drugs was also needed to deal with the problem. Now, sadly, Oneida County and Onondaga County have the highest instances in New York State. And I think the more people are educated about it, they learn to treat it, how to deal with it, respond to it, I think it's all going to hopefully make a positive difference. Law enforcement officers hoping the state will pass a law banning synthetic drugs since a state law could carry tougher penalties. For now, reporting from Verona, I'm Alex Dunbar.